This is the kind of test you want. At least one pH test. And you want to test for nitrite. Nitrate, and this is very important, is your ammonia. Ammonia and your pH, if you, if you don't get anything else, you must get these two. Because these two are what will tell you if your fish are going to die. Any kind of sharp fluctuation in, in your pH is bad for your fish. Depending on the fish, they might have different optimum pH levels. But what you don't, what you want to avoid is a sudden change in pH. That's the thing that kills your fish. Obviously a very high pH is not a good idea either. And then when it comes to ammonia, you want to keep it in these top three, uh, the range of top three. Anything from here on down gets dangerous. And when you get down to about here, you're going to start losing your fish. Nitrite and nitrate. Here's some nitrite. And nitrate tells you that your, your bacteria colony is, is there. So basically, if your nitrates get a little bit lower than that and you don't have enough plants in your system, if they get a little bit too high, and your nitrate is just an intermediary, these two tests I very seldom do. And if I see changes in the plant, that I'll use those. But most often, do the ammonia test and the pH test, and that's at least once a week.